Hello and welcome back to the Apocalypse. I'm your host, Vormithrax, and this is episode number 83 of our Let's Play tutorial for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And we got to do some repairs on our vehicle. We had a merry old time just mowing down a big old herd of zombies, but uh, did some damage. We managed to wipe out the spikes on the front end of our uh, armored car here. So if we take a look, the front end's pretty damaged. Used to have spikes on the front, now it's just down to the heavy duty frame. So we're going to do some quick welding jobs, get everything that's still there back up to full strength, and then we're going to go over to that other APC just north of us and pull some plating off the front of it and weld it on also. The rest of the car is looking pretty good. I don't see any other spots. Eh, the door's got a tiny bit of damage. We'll roll through the whole thing and get it all fixed up, but uh, the front end did exactly what it was supposed to do. It absorbed all of that damage from that huge herd of zombies right there. There must have been 20, 25 of them that we just mowed over. So it was well worth it. We got a bunch of good items out of it. So no regrets. Um, so let's do the repairs first. And I'm going to go stand near my welding equipment for that part of it. We'll examine the vehicle, and as I've mentioned uh, in a previous episode, if we just tap the R key a couple of times, it'll automatically jump to the first section that needs repairing. And we'll hit R again to select it, and hit Enter. And since I'm close enough to my tools, they're going to automatically go to work and get repairing there. So let me just slide through a few of these, get things repaired real quick. And the composite armor, I don't have the skills to repair yet, so it won't let it do that one. I need mechanic 7, which we're not quite there yet. Alright, so we'll pick this one though. bother repairing the wing mirror. It's either there or it's not there. It really doesn't help to repair it. It gets ripped off if you tap anything. So, alright, I think that's it. So, everything that's there is fully repaired. That only took a few seconds. If we take a look at my tools, um, where are we at for the welder? Uh, did I pick it up? Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in our inventory. I'm going to have to unload here, so give me one second here. Some of the cool stuff we grabbed. A whole lot of cash cards. Really need to get that stuff consolidated. And batteries and thread. Alright. So that's all in the carrying capacity there. How is that doing for cargo space? We're at 179 out of 250 still, so lots of space available. All right. Uh, welder's doing good. UPS is doing good. I think I've had my charger on the entire time. Um, but we're at 99% battery capacity on the vehicle, so absolutely no problem at all. It's doing exactly what we want to do, charging up while we drive around on the gas engine, as well as using the solar panels to charge up. So when we take a look at the vehicle, you can see here the percentages. So... Apparently we've been running it off the battery because we were at 99% uh, just a short bit ago. Now we're at 91% because it's been charging up the uh, tools as I've been using them. But uh, everything's repaired now, so let's do this. I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm definitely going to need Cartsy, and I may need the duffel bag. So we'll grab both of those. Am I wearing the backpack still? I am. So we're going to go ahead and wear the duffel bag as well. Let's apply Cartsy, get him deployed. So we should have lots of carrying capacity now. We've got 62 available, only using 5 with the volume we're carrying, so that will help out. And we've got Cartsy as well. Alright, so this is what we're looking to pull some stuff off of. The front end of this has got the spiked plating. That's what we want to reinstall on mine. We may change this out for some more useful things later. Spike plating, eh, it's okay, but it's somewhat fragile. Um, we might just go two heavy-duty frames on the front. The heavy-duty frames have a lot of durability. Um, I think one of the viewers mentioned putting shock absorbers on the front, so that might help as well with a ram, but uh, a little too much for me to deal with out here in the field, and I don't think I have any shock absorbers, and I'm not sure if I can build them, so something we'll keep an eye on for the future. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and pull all this stuff off. I 
think. I, now I don't know that I brought the tools I'm going to need. Uh, yep, we're fine. I just need metal sawing. Alright, so we're going to take off the spike plating for all of these. Uh, nope, don't care. Remove. Remove. Alright, so we got the spike plating off. Kind of debating grabbing these heavy duty frames and doing uh, another row of frames. So have spike plating on a frame and then another row of frames. Um, nah, not right now. I don't want to get too exotic while we're out here in the field. So uh, we can pick it all up. It's going to weigh us down and hurt our stamina pretty bad, but we don't have to go far. All right, we'll let go of the cart, step back to there. All right, salmon vehicle, and let's throw this stuff back on. Uh, might even take off this military composite armor. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's get rid of that. Now that we've got another frame, or another spike plating we can put on there. Install spike plating. And we'll just work our way down the list here. Ah. Did you take care of that for me, dude? Nope, you did not take care of that for me. You're just going to stand there and let this thing tear apart my vehicle. <laughs> what a friend. Alright. Alright. Doesn't look exactly the same because of a different design style for that one corner, but it's heavy duty frame and spike plating all the way across. Now we just need to do some repairs on the plating and we'll be good to go. Alright, oops, one more. And that is it. We are fully repaired back to original condition. Alright, perfect. How's our parts doing? So they're just about full again and our battery charge, we're at 89%. So not bad, we used about 10% of our total battery. I think it was at 99 when I very first started, so not a problem there. Still got 80% gas. I think maybe I'll pull that drum out, and we'll, or actually I don't even need to pull it out. We'll just siphon some uh, gas out of it. But first, let's drop to, drop to this space where I'm standing, the duffel bag and the backpack, and the toolbox. Alright, I'll grab Cartsy, whoops, fold Cartsy up, step here, and go here to here, alright, there it is. So we got everything back in the vehicle, all of my charging stuff is back to full charge, I'm going to turn off my recharger, we don't need to be having that run while I'm not needing it anymore. Close the doors, and I think we are all set to get moving again. Um, I kind of debated whether I wanted to do some looting and fighting while I was here. Let's take a last look here. Um, I'm very hungry and thirsty, so let's grab some drinks. What do we got to eat? Still got some scrambled eggs to finish off. And some cooked meat. Alright, I am out. Ugh, 12 cooked meat went rotten. <laughs> I am out of prepared foods that have any spoil factor, so I'm down to my smoked meats and other types of foods. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. But I don't anticipate being down south that much longer. We just got a little bit more scouting to do. So I think we'll be okay. All right, we're tired, but I think that's new. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, 
Gun store, fire station, pharmacy, another gun store. We've already made a bunch of noise to and should have attracted the local zombies, so it might be worth running out and checking these local buildings. Um, yeah, let, let, let's go ahead and do it. So we've already cleared the area, so we'll go ahead and grab a few things. Uh, do this. Artsy out there, and the backpack. All right, so condition's fine, hit points are fine. A little high in my torso encumbrance, but not so much that I'm too worried about it. We've got our battle rifle and our pistols, so I think we're good. All right, so let's hit the pharmacy first. That should be pretty quick and easy to get into. And we might check the fire station. We'll see. Oops. A uh, tiny, tiny cash card. Not going to care about that. I think I looked in here. There was nothing in there, if I remember right. Yeah, just a Glock. I don't need more of those. All right, let's check the pharmacy. ATM, or are these both vending machines? I think it's both vending machines. Yeah. Oops, stop that. Okay, what do we got? Aspirin, probably. Multivitamins. Uh, is it worth running over here? No. Apple cider and cranberry juice? Uh, sure. Hello, zombie. <laughs> I was fast moving and almost uh, got nailed by that guy. Alright, he's doing fine. So apparently we haven't pulled all the zombies from the local area. Um, yeah, it's not automatically using my halogen bar again. Huh, it's not even doing it when I have it in my hand. Fine, oops, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Alright, injectable vitamin B and antiseptic. I have no idea what use injectable vitamin B would be. Especially if you're not playing with the complex nutrition systems on. I don't need cough syrup or cotton balls. That's an exterior door. There's a tailor's kit and some shotgun shells. Sewing kit and some shotgun shells. Alright, well, step back here and grab them. A lot of bodies back here, too. I'm just going to unload that. Alright, a lot of bodies. Raccoon corpse, raccoon corpse, bruised raccoon corpse. So, don't care about the rest of this. So, fire station apparently has got some firemen in the main bay. And then the building's right up against this building. That's kind of interesting. I don't usually see them wedged right against each other. Usually there's an alleyway. We're going to check, go out the front though. All right, we got zombies coming at us, so we'll wait here, clear these first. Uh, I got the wrong thing in my hands here. Let's um, activate, put this back in the belt, wield. Let's get some gunfire practice and draw some local zombies. We'll go with the... Well, let's try our battle rifle. We haven't really used it in a while, and uh, we've got a lot of skill for it now, so let's test out some... Oh, there we go. Let's test this out. So, some aiming. Wow, thing's kind of hard to hit. Alright, 60 damage. Took care of that. Really thought it would be a little more effective at range considering our skill now. 
but I gotta get pretty much to there. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven spaces before I get even a half and half chance to hit. Sixty-nine, good shot. Headshot for 179. I think that's a new high, a new record. Reload up. Oh, I don't have any ammo with me. Um, that's fine. We'll wait and let these come to me. What the heck? Where are you going? Oh, he's going to go play with the iBot. Um, that's fine. You play with the iBot. Another zombie. Oh, three, four, five, six more zombies? Oh, are these the guys streaming out of that building that on the far side? All standard zombies. There's an ambulance. We can take these. I'm not worried about it. I'll step back behind my buddy, though. Alright, right here. They're all going over the iBot. That's quite the crowd. Alright, let's go join the fun. This will be interesting. I can snipe them from range for some practice. Alright, let's try a few shots from range here. We're cancel this. What's our skill at? We're at rifles 8 and 6%. So, let me get a little closer here. Right there ought to do it. Oops, I'm gonna grab her coming from behind me. Critical for 98. Oh, didn't kill him. Let my buddy take care of him while I kill the zombie or the grabber. Sixty-seven didn't drop him. Severely injured, so all right. Sixty-nine for that one. Let's. Um, Wear the rifle again. Activate our Beretta. Alright, we'll take some shots with our Beretta here. Oh, I didn't reload my Beretta. <laughs> Alright, back in the holster it goes. I gotta remember to reload all my guns when we get back to the car. Let's get the spear out. Back up a bit so my buddy can help me out. And we'll take these things. And I got a boomer coming down from the north now. But well, we got most of the crowd pretty well thinned out. Ooh, riot control. Um, I don't know if he's coming to deal with me. I, I haven't really done anything that should attract this guy's attention, as far as I know. But he may be after just anybody in the area. Just let them do their thing. I'll pop into the vehicle here and regular crowbar. Don't need that. They're right in front of the gun store, which I do want to get into. I think I'll go around them and go back to the pharmacy that I was originally targeting. Uh oh. All right. Yeah, I do have the attention of the cops. So they're now sending, they're summoning and sending uh, police bots and stuff after me. So I'm not sure what I did that's got their attention, but maybe it's just being in the area with the iBot. Um, more grabbers coming from the north. Huh. Well, my attempt to 
do stuff here might be put off. Well, the police spot's actually not coming at me. I mean, there's a police spot here, there's a police spot here. None of them are actually focusing on me, so... I'm gonna... Hello! Okay, that's definitely focused on me. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's get moving, dude. Oh, don't kill my NPC, you bum. Uh, I didn't bring any of my gear really to deal with this. Let go of the cart. Wield the rifle. trying to get closer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see this thing to hit it. Grazing hit. I don't know if this has the punch power to really do much damage here. Yeah, just barely grazing hits. Probably better for me to go back to the uh, piercing, go back to the spear. So, we'll wear that, wield that. I'm going to have to wander into this cloud and start hitting this thing. It's a sedative cloud. Um, come on, get it in range. There we go. Oh yeah, much, much better. Hit him for 29, hit him for 55 and criticaled him. Alright, let's see if we can take care of the little ones too. These guys are hard to hit. There we go. I think more are coming. So is now heavily damaged. Take some aspirin. How are you doing, dude? He's doing fine, so I'm the only one getting hit. Is that the way this works? Transponder circuits, huh? Alright, well, killed a lot of interesting things. Grab my card again before I forget. I probably should get rid of that iBot if I can manage it. Alright, we managed it very easily. Ooh, five plutonium cells. Oh, nuclear power. Well, that made the whole thing worth it right there. Those suckers are super hard to find. That's what we need to run the mini-reactor. Five is a pretty good number of plutonium cells. That makes me really happy. Alright, anything else down here? I've kind of lost track of the various piles and corpses and so on. Uh, I don't need any of that. And I don't see anything down here I'm too concerned with, other than two first aid kits laying on the ground right there. That I'm definitely interested in. Alright, I'm going to use one. We're going to use a first aid kit on my torso. There we go, back to full health. And... Part of that is, I believe, the first aid skill increases the effectiveness. The skill in affecting emergency medical treatment, higher levels allow better use of medicines and items like bandages and first aid kits, and reduce the failure and complication rates of medical procedures. So, because I had a higher skill than the last time I was using it, I got a lot more healing factor out of that. At low skill levels, you only gain like a bar, maybe a bar and a half, but I gained like three bars there. So. 
Don't think any of these are open, so let's apply... Ah, I left my toolbox, didn't I? I left my toolbox in the car. Alright, fine. We'll go back up to the pharmacy, deal with it first. Oh, we did the pharmacy. What am I saying? We cleared that out. It was the fire station that we were going to look at. So, we're going to do the gun store first, though. I just need to go grab my toolbox. Uh, there to there. Toolbox. Alright, back we go. One of these days I'll have to run down into one of the subways so you guys can see what those look like. Alright, we'll pick the window closest to the front door here. Alright, apply toolbox, cut metal that direction. Let go of the cart, go open the door, grab the cart, and in we go. What do we got here? Repair kits? I want that to be all... that to be cart. Yep, two repair kits and a suppressor. Cool. Which book? Pocket Guide to Firearm Safety. That we don't need. Adjustable stock, auto fire mechanism, forward grips. I don't... God, the pack rat in me is telling me to pick that up, but no, I refuse, pack rat. I refuse. Ah, uh, more casings. I refuse. So this is going to be one of those places. It's going to have a gunsmith's location. This is one of the really good weapon shops. Hopefully we can pick up some of the tools as well. A SIG P23-230 magazine and a Thompson drum magazine. Uh, what are you doing? I want that to be all, that to be... Oh, whoops, I forgot. I, left, I had to leave my cart when I came over the counter. Um, that's fine. So, grab them manually and then transfer them. And what do we got here? Okay, so, ooh, another Saiga 12 magazine. Cool. Alright, working our way to the back offices. Sports drink. We're thirsty. Let's have a sports drink. Uh, we went from thirsty to slaked in one drink. Huh. Alright, fine. Bathrooms. Don't care. That's out to the back parking lot. And there's the gunsmith's area. Nothing in the lockers. Nothing in the lockers. So it's just what's on the tables. Alright. Bullet press and die, or hand press and die set, a kinetic bullet puller, incendiary powder, gunpowder, lead charges. So, not much in the way of guns, but lots of supplies and tools with which to make bullets and guns. Hammer we don't need. Metal tongs, I... We've, we've got to have metal tongs back at our base because we're doing metalworking and stuff, so... I'll grab it just because, but I think we don't need it. And an X-Acto knife. You mean I could have walked... Oh, I opened it from the inside. That's why it opened. <laughs> I was going to say, I could have walked in that way. Alright, grab the carts, and I think we are done in here. Stupid NPC blocking me via my cart. Okay. Gun store is done. Bam. And we got one more gun store right there. I think that's really all I care about. Maybe I'll go look in that garage, but the rest of it I'm not going to worry about for now. Uh, the museum might be interesting. Oh, yeah. Tch, more and more stuff. Military surplus store. Well, first things first, let's check out the... I don't really care about these vehicles much. All right, let's just work our way down to the gun store. Ooh, ATM. Oh, we got shade zombies coming. ATM, transfer, yes! All right, insert card for bulk deposit. Doesn't really matter, just pick any one. They all transfer onto it, so whatever. And look at that, 
28 cash cards with a zero balance and one cash card with 234,000, which is just barely enough to buy out all the gas in a gas station. All right, so let's take care of this thing. Unload the flashlight. I'll let him smash him up. Which way is the entrance to this place up here? That I gotta go check. Looks like an ambulance. Remington, no. Security van, not an ambulance. All right, back down this way. And apply. Toolbox, cut metal. That way, smash, smash. Let go, go in, grab. Oh, look at all the goodies. Lots and lots of goodies. Set that to all, that to the cart. Uh, I said all. There we go. So 38 caliber, 40 caliber, and fifth, uh, 9 millimeter. All good to use. Lots and lots of ammo. So we got plenty of ammo for any of the standard guns now. Wish I could get some more 308 rounds, though. Pretty good supply of 223 Remingtons. And shotgun shells. We'll take that. I'm not taking birdshot. Alright, yeah, let's finish the front. Don't care about the single barrel shotgun. Magazines we'll grab. We can sort those out some other time. Ooh, a Glock extended magazine. And a Mosin Nagant M44, which is that? That's the rifle, fires 7.62 by 54. Is that, is that a sniper rifle or just a semi automatic rifle? Huh, alright. Model 44, carbine size variant of the standard 1891 slash 30. It has a shorter barrel, therefore, it is weaker than the 1891 slash 30, but easier to carry. Alright. We'll grab it. Seems sounds like a modern rifle. Nothing on those. Don't really care what's oh, never mind. They're bullet vending machines. I do care. Uh so I've got two hundred and thirty four thousand. When I buy one of these, two hundred and thirty two thousand, two hundred and twenty nine thousand, two hundred and twenty seven thousand. Oh my goodness. I want the 308 Winchesters for sure. Now, how many am I getting? Is it just one, or is it one box? Or All right, I don't think I have any 308 Winchester ammo right now, so let's find out. So we'll go here. We're going to pick this. Look at my inventory. 20 rounds. So how was I supposed to know it was going to be a box of 20 rounds? <laughs> I don't think it says anywhere on here how many you're gonna get yeah I, I not seeing any indication for how many oh never mind right here so if I get that 22 LR it's gonna be 160 units of that I think so I'm not carrying any of that type of ammo so this will be expensive So 4,000 and, yep, 160 rounds. Whoa, this is going to be a lot of ammo. I'm buying it. Buy it all. I can always get more, more cash cards and more gas other ways, so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now I have to think about it, because... That's a lot of cash. Holy crap. I've never seen this much ammo in one place before. Ever. Um, Yowch. This is a ridiculous amount of ammo. Usually these vending machines are broken or empty when I come in here. All four of these or three of these seem to have a lot of ammo in them. Huh. I may have to just mark this down and come back for it because... 
This is almost too much of a good thing. Yeah, every one of these is full. Wow. 300 Winchester Magnums. Um, yeah, I'm, uh... I'm trying to remember if you can you if you break a vending machine, does it just set the alarm off or do you get all the items out? I can't remember now. Hmm. All right, can't get in that way. Uh, apply toolbox, cut metal that way. Thank you very much. Check this room first. Ooh, that looks interesting. H and K MP5 and a Bushmaster ACR. Oh man, we're gonna have so much firepower when we get out of here. Door I can't get through, huh? I can get through that. I have the power. Shotgun slug ammo. Oh man, even more goodies. I can't keep track of all this goodness. <laughs> this is just a ridiculous amount of gear in here. Alright, everything's done except for that door. And I'm not 100% certain that that's not just an exterior door or if it actually goes somewhere. So I might need to count the wall spaces and see if there's anything south of that. I just can't believe how much ammo's in this place. Alright, come outside so Ah, I'm going to lose my count from that kid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Puts me right on the back side of the building. Alright, and we got a lava flow back there with some sulfur deposits. Alright, so... 19 along the wall space, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's an exterior door. Alright, so I don't have to worry about trying to bust through that. So the only thing left in here are these ridiculously mammoth piles of gun ammo. I want it all. Um, but I, I don't think my cash card will take it all. I'll run out of money before these things run out of ammo. Um, man. 160 rounds in each of these piles. 30 rounds of 223. Only 10 rounds of 30 out 6 M2 AP armor piercing rounds. I'd really like some ammo for with armor piercing, but uh I'm not a hundred percent certain I've got something that'll fire that. I probably do given the amount of weapons that we've pulled. Winchester Magnums. Extremely powerful and accurate rifle round. Yep. I'm going to grab those and grab those too. Hundred rounds of nine millimeter jacketed hollow points. No, nope. I've got plenty. 
All right, I'm going to leave the rest of those there. We're definitely going to bring up the map and make a note. Ammo. 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 All right, we're going to leave that one brightly lit loud and proud on the map. So, let's do this. Um, I think I'm going to call the episode to a close right here. We've cleared out a good portion of the town. If there's anything left in the town, it's not much that I'm going to be worried about, especially with what we're packing now. And now that I know we've got access to so much ammo. Look at all this ridiculous, ridiculous ammo. And that's just what I'm carrying, not even what's in the bag or in the uh, cart. Oh my goodness. That's just ridiculous. Alright, well, can't complain. Let's reload that gun. Let's activate the ankle holster. Drop it and I'll remember. And then reload this as well. Uh, Alright. Activate the holster again. Uh, yeah, now I got so many choices. We'll just put the Beretta back in there. All right, we'll stick with our normal ones for the moment. What is this one fire again? I'd have to pull it out to look. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so yeah. This has been a ridiculously good loot run in this little town. Super glad that I actually decided to stay and take a look. Getting the five plutonium cells out of the iBot was amazing all by itself. Um, we can use that to run the mini reactor, the nuclear reactor. I want to put that in our, our RV, our luxury RV, especially if we can find a few more of those things and uh, run that sucker off nuclear. But uh, <laughs> that's one possibility. Um, but between that and the huge amount of guns, ammo, and gun uh, ammo creation equipment that we pulled out of the gunsmith store, it's just been amazing this episode. So I haven't seen a bonanza like this in a little town with not much damage or danger in a long time. So everything's been going great, and um, hopefully you enjoyed the episode and uh, were as excited as I was to see all this cool stuff we've been pulling out of these stores. So I'm going to start putting it all to very much use. Our throwing stick days are long over. It's going to be gunfire, gunfire, gunfire. So, except for those times when I need to be a little more quiet. But otherwise, I'm just going to start letting loose with the uh, the high power firearms. So, we're going to end up doing some sorting in the back of our vehicle to uh, find out what we can actually pack and uh, start training up on some of this stuff and taking advantage of the stopping power. So, hope you've enjoyed it, and as always, do hit the like, comment, and subscribe options. It is really important that you do that. It helps me, helps the channel, helps us grow. So, if you want to continue to see content and see more content, and you're enjoying the channel, please find ways to support me any way you can. It would be greatly appreciated. I've got my social contacts listed in the description below as well. Please do take advantage of those. Um, using your, your power of choice and voting and uh, helping me out in those ways is uh, very, very good. Um, so I hope to see you in the next episode, and have a good day. Bye-bye.